Hey dudes, today I want to talk about EQ on dialog. So I have three examples loaded up here, and let's see if we can fix or improve each of these recordings just with EQ. Okay, so our first example has some unwanted frequencies that are very low and rumbly, and some unwanted frequencies that are very high and shrill and dog whistly. So let's check it out. Here is a test recording of me speaking normally and naturally. And all I'm gonna do is put on an EQ to this track, put on a high pass filter and a low pass filter. So let's do it. Insert, plugin, EQ, seven band EQ. This is the EQ3 stock Pro Tools equalizer. We're gonna do a high pass filter and a low pass filter by engaging with the in on both of them, clicking the Q and raising it up by clicking the mouse and rolling up. Click, roll up on this knob. Frequency, 100 for high pass and let's go 10,000 for the low pass. Now this is a little aggressive, but let's listen again. Here is a test recording of me speaking normally and naturally. So I highly recommend on every track of dialogue that you do some version of this. If this is a little too strong and it's making the voice a little too dull, you can always go like 80 and type in 12 and K, for example, it knows you mean three zeros and you can adjust this slightly. But the moral of the story is there are unwanted frequencies that either rumble or get really high pitched that aren't in the register of a voice. So we can just quickly remove them with a high pass and a low pass filter. They go away. Life moves on. We clean up our track. We're good to go. Okay, let's listen to the second example. Here is an example of me speaking and my voice is, um, well, a little bit too bassy. Okay, so we've identified the problem. Too much bass in the voice. Sometimes that can cause a muddy recording. Um, another way to say it is it doesn't have a lot of clarity. So let's uh, bring back our EQ. I'm going to unbypass it. We're just going to do a little scoop out at the problem area. So how we're going to do that is... Around 250 is what I kind of consider the, the low, rich, robust zone of a voice. Here is an example of me speaking, and my voice is, um, well, a little bit too bassy. So I went minus 9 dB at 250, if I bypass it. A little bit too bassy. 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 That's cleaning it up a lot. Now, your second line of defense here, if you still can't get it as bright as you want, is to go around the 5K zone. I usually do that on the green high mid filter. And let's just do a boost at around three. A little bit too bassy. 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 So some combination of that. These are not just values you can always set on everything, but the two numbers that I would look for is 250 for something being low and 5K for something being sort of really that kind of bright zone or the clarity zone. Those are those two different values. All right, let's check out example number three. Here is an example that is kind of the opposite of my radio voice. So. I don't even need to play anymore. I think we know what the issue is. I'm gonna bring up the EQ. Now, this EQ is not gonna work. I can hold Option, for example, and click the gain. That resets it to nominal. And I don't want to boost any more of these frequencies at 5K. So we're going to reduce first by going the opposite direction. Here is an example that is kind of the opposite of my radio voice. There's really not a lot of bass in this recording, so we have to do whatever we can to make it a little less brittle 
and sound a little more natural. Okay, so just on the fly, I was showing you that you can either type in the number by doing that, or I can use the knob and bring things up and down, which is nice because you can do it in real time and you can get an answer as to what you need to fix and how well you're fixing it. So let's do a bypass. Here is an example that is kind of the opposite of my radio voice. There's really not a lot of bass in this recording, so we have to do whatever we can. Okay, so that is basically it. Keeping in mind the reason we do any of this at all is just to try to balance out our frequencies so it feels smooth from clip to clip. If you don't need to do any reducing or boosting in basses or highs, forget about it. Don't do it. You don't need to do it. You should always do a low pass filter and a high pass filter, keeping in mind to use your ears. If our 110k rule is too dull, you don't like the sound of it, just loosen it up a little bit. But it'll always remove some unwanted and non-dialogue frequencies to the left and right. Remember always to reduce and scoop first. If you can fix the problem with that, walk away, give yourself the gold star. If you need to then boost just slightly, do that, but do it with caution. Don't boost too much. So hope you guys learned something. I hope you'll use these tools now to keep the EQ and frequencies sort of smooth across your whole session with your dialogue. And until the next one, later dudes.